Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at the Promise Fast Track TX2000 ATA133 PCI RAID controller. What is included in this package is the manual as well as two ATA133 cables. You also get drivers and software and the controller. This controller does support up to four hard drives and they can be ATA133. Also, of course, this is a PCI plug and play card. Now, like many of these RAID controllers, they have different types of RAID. You've got a RAID 0, a RAID 1, a RAID 0 plus 1, as well as a JBOD. Now, if you're wondering what does RAID stand for, well, it's Redundant Array of Independent Disks. Just going back here to the different types of RAID on this, you got a RAID 0, which is basically for raw performance. However, if you lose a drive in the array, you're going to lose the complete array. Now, if you want data security, go with the RAID 1, which will basically give you that security you're going to need. For instance, if one drive fails in that array, you could go ahead and replace that drive and your data is fine. Now, if you want the best of both worlds, well, go RAID 0 plus 1. That gives you basically the data backup as well as the raw performance. And lastly is JBOD. What does that stand for? Well, believe it or not, it stands for just a bunch of independent disks. And basically what that means is exactly what I just said. It's just a bunch of disks. It basically spans the disk. It fills each disk up till basically the whole array is finished. But it does not give you any performance and it does not give you any data security. Upon installing the PCI RAID controller, you'll see a screen here at the beginning before you have configured any drives in a particular array. It will search for the IDE drives if you haven't already set the array up it will basically tell you that there has been no RAID array created. You can see here it's flashing no array is defined. You can go into the utility by pressing control F or you can just continue booting by pressing the escape key. Now for instance if I go ahead here and press control F you can see that I'm into this utility and in here you have a few options. You can do a very neat automatic setup here which is very convenient to do. You can also view the drive assignments, define the array, and you can also of course look at the controller configuration. How does this controller perform? Well, I'll be doing a few interesting results here. I'll be doing a RAID 0 plus 1 configuration with four master hard drives which are ATA 100 and also I'll be doing four master hard drives which are ATA 100. 33 and the last benchmark that I will be doing will be using just two hard drives in a RAID 0 array a Maxter ATA 133 and that final result. Now the first result which you're seeing right here is a result of 37,683. This again is RAID 0 plus 1 and it's using the file structure NTFS and it's actually set at 64K, which is good for basically audio video editing, which I am doing. And again, Maxter drives four of them, and this result is with ATA 100 7200 RPM drives. Now, the next result you'll see will be with the Maxter ATA 133 drives. And the result using four Maxter ATA 133 hard drives is 41,279. Not a huge difference here, but there is, of course, a performance increase from using the ATA100 to using the ATA133 hard drives. This next result, as you can see, is very high. It's basically a different configuration, though. I'm using a RAID 0 configuration. The file structure, again, is the same at NTFS. Also, I'm using two Maxter ATA133 hard drives. I'm getting a result here of 44,603. So if you remember, the result in the last one was around 41,000 on the RAID 0 plus 1. As you can see, RAID 0 is certainly all raw performance. The results there really speak for themselves. Of course, RAID 0 very clearly is just for really raw performance. Of course, remember, with RAID 0, you're not going to get any kind of data protection at all. Once you lose one drive in the array, the complete array is lost and you will lose all of your data. Again, RAID 0, certainly very, very fast 
but not secure at all. Now the other option is to go with RAID 0 plus 1 and still that is pretty fast as well as the results indicate around 41,000 on a result for RAID 0 plus 1 using the new ATA 133 hard drives. Of course the problem with that in a way is that you have to buy more hard drives. You have to have four hard drives minimum for a 0 plus 1 array. However, it's going to give you the raw performance as well as the secure data. So if you lose a drive on the second array, not going to be a problem. You can just completely swap it out. Now the most secure, of course, and unfortunately the slowest, is RAID 1. As you've seen there, it's a little slower than RAID 0 plus 1, and certainly a lot slower than RAID 0, but it does give you that data protection. So if you lose one drive in the sequence of the array, not an issue. You just take it to the drive, put a new one back, and all is well. Overall, this is a great product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, be sure to check out my website at www.3dgameman.com, and while you're there, pop into the forums and register. If you haven't already, registration is free. Of course, you can leave your very own suggestions and comments, and of course, you can find out all kinds of information about this product and about all the products which I video review. Until the next time, take care.